Hi, boys, boys and girls. Miss Smith here for another music lesson coming to you from my classroom. I hope you guys have had a great week, and I really hope that you enjoyed uh, Three Little Pigs last week. I know I did. So um, the first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to warm up our voices. We're going to sing our welcome song, and we're going to do some Lulu echoes. Um, after that, we're going to sing a song called Down by the Bay. After that, we are going to do a uh, cuckoo kangaroo dance, and that's going to be your rotation teacher's choice on which video. Then we're going to do an activity called Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle, and we're also going to be using our thumbs for two little blackbirds. That's a song. And then at the very end, we are going to play Shaker Eggs. And so if you are at home, you're going to need a few supplies. So in order to make a shaker egg or some sort of shaker, you're going to need, let me show you. You're gonna need some uncooked rice, an Easter egg, or if you don't have an Easter egg, you'll need a cup, a sandwich bag, a rubber band, and a pair of scissors for what we're doing today. And when we get to that part, I will show you how to make your shaker. If you are at school, your rotation teacher will have a shaker egg for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's sing our welcome song. Everyone echo after me. Hello there, how are you? It's so good to see you. We'll sing and be happy, we're all here together again. Good job, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right, now we are going to do some voice echoes with Lulu. So, everyone say, hello, Lulu. All right, good job, Lulu. Are you ready for some vocal echoes? She says yes. All right, go ahead, Lulu, and everybody echo after Lulu. Here we go. Lulu, 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 Lulu. Boys and girls, everybody give yourselves a good pat on the back. Good job. Everyone say goodbye, Lulu. All right, Lulu, we'll see you next time. Now, the next thing we're going to do is sing Down by the Bay. And it's an echo song. So all you have to do is echo after me, but there's one part that we sing all together at the same time. And when I hold these cards up, that's when we're gonna sing together at the same time. The beginning of the song, when I have the cards down, those are gonna be echoes, all right? So you're gonna echo after me, and then we're gonna do these parts right here. Now these are rhyming words. This says llama wearing pajamas. So llama and pajama rhymes. The next one says bear combing his hair. So bear and hair rhyme. The third one says frog sitting on a log. So can you find the rhyming words in this one? Good, it's frog and log, those rhyme. And then the last one says snake eating a cake. Can you find the rhyming words in this one? Good, snake 
and cake rhyme. So without further ado, let's go ahead and sing this song. You guys echo after me, and when I hold the cards up, sing together with me. All right, here we go. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a llama wearing pajamas down by the bay? Now echo, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a bear combing his hair down by the bay? Echoes, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a frog sitting on a log down by the bay? Echo after me. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a snake eating a cake down by the bay? Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Oh, I love that song. All right. Our next activity is going to be, oh, a cuckoo kangaroo dance. So rotation teachers, you're going to pause the video and you're going to go to another YouTube tab and choose a dance video by Cuckoo Kangaroo. And parents at home, if you want your child to uh, do this part as well, just type in on the search on YouTube, Cuckoo Kangaroo, and you can choose the video or you can let them choose rotation teachers if you want to choose the video or let the class choose or vote on one, that's fine. So pause this video, do your Cuckoo Kangaroo dance, and I will see you back soon. All right, everybody has got their voices, their bodies and their voices warmed up. Let's go ahead and continue. So we're, the next thing we're going to do is Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. So with this activity, we're going to be practicing moving our voices high and moving our voices low. So a few weeks ago, we learned about high and low notes. And this week, we're going to be practicing our high notes and our low notes. So we're going to be using our thumbs. That's the only thing you're going to be needing for this, this activity. And so everybody hold your thumb up and go up and then go down. <clears throat> Good. So did you notice that when we moved our thumbs upwards, our voices went up higher? So up. And then when, he, when we moved our thumbs down, our voices got lower. So down. Do this with me. Up and down. Up and down. Very good. Now everybody make this noise for me. And so notice when our fingers open, our voices go up. And our voices go lower when we close our hands. So let's go ahead and get started with Mr. Wiggle. So everybody like this. This is Mr. Wiggle. This is Mr. Waggle. They are best friends. Oh, hello, Mr. Waggle. Oh, hello, Mr. Wiggle. How are you today? Oh, I'm just grand. So our friends, Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle, they like to play together outside. 
And so, they're both in their houses. Mr. Wiggles' house is over here, and Mr. Waggles' house is over here. So, one day, Mr. Wiggle woke up and he decided that he'd like to go over to his friend Mr. Waggles' house to play. So, he got up out of bed. Let's see, they're sleeping now, so put your thumbs down. He got up out of bed, bloop, and he brushed his teeth, put his clothes on, got ready for the day, and he decided to take a walk over to Mr. Waggles' house. So he opened his gate, he went outside, and he closed his gate. He walked over towards Mr. Waggles' house, but there's lots of hills in between, so in order to get to Mr. Waggles' house, he has to go up the hill. Everybody do that with me. Up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. And he's there at Mr. Waggles' house, so he knocks on the door. Knock, knock, knock. No answer, so he waits. Hmm. I guess I'll knock again. Knock, knock, knock. And he waits. And still no answer. So he says, Oh, I guess Mr. Waggle is very sleepy today and he's going to sleep, so I guess I'll just go back home. So in order to get back to his own house, he has to go up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill. He opens his gate. He goes inside. And he closes his gate. And he goes to sleep. All right. The next morning, Mr. Waggle wakes up. Oh, Mr. Waggle, I think I might go see my friend Mr. Wiggle today. So, he gets up, and he brushes his teeth, and he puts his clothes on, and he gets ready to go to Mr. Wiggle's house. He opens his gate, he goes outside, and he closes his gate. So, in order to get to Mr. Wiggle's house, what does he have to do? That's right, he has to go up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill. And he gets to Mr. Wiggle's house and he knocks, knock, knock, knock. No answer. So he waits. And he knocks again, knock, knock, knock. Still no answer. Oh my goodness, I just keep missing my friend. I guess I won't play with him today. I guess I will go back home. So in order to get back home, Mr. Waggle has to go up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill. And he opens his gate. He goes inside. Bloop. And he closes his gate. And he goes to sleep. All right, the next morning, both Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle decide they would like to go play with each other today. They've been missing their friend for two days and they just want to play. And so they both get up out of bed. They both brush their teeth. They both put their clothes on and they open their gates. They come outside, bloop, and they close their gates. In order to get to each other's houses, they have to go up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and, oh, oh, hello, Mr. Waggle. Oh, hello there, Mr. Wiggle. I've missed you so much. I would love to play games with you today. Oh yes, let's play games. And so they they played all kinds of games. They played tag. Oh, tag your it. Oh, tag your it. Oh, 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 tag your it. They played hide and seek. Oh no, oh no, where is he, where is he? They played hopscotch. 
bling, 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 bling. And they played all day long, all kinds of different games. They played Ring Around the po Rosie. They played basketball. And then the sun started to go down. It was the end of the day. They had so much fun playing and now it's time for them to go home. So they say goodbye to each other. Goodbye, Mr. Waggle. Goodbye, Mr. Wiggle. I'll see you tomorrow. And so they both go back home. To get back home, they have to go up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill. They open their gates. They go inside and they close their gates and they go to sleep. All right, everybody give yourselves a round of applause. That's a fun story. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna need our thumbs again for this one. So this is a song called Two Little Blackbirds. And so with your thumbs, our blackbirds first are going to be sitting on a hill. So we're gonna set them on our knees right here. And then in the second verse, they're going to be flying in the sky like this. And then in the third verse, they're going to be sitting on a pole. So we're gonna put them on our shoulders. All right, so this is a song, it's not an echo song. This is a song that we all sing together and I realize you guys don't know this song yet. So what I want you to do is just listen and I'll sing it and then you guys do the hand motions with me. Okay, so here we go. Two little black birds sitting on a hill, one named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. And so that is the first verse. In the second verse, our birds are gonna be named something different. They're going to be named high and low. And so we're gonna be using our high notes and our low notes in this one. So let's go ahead and sing the song again. Two little black birds sitting on a... Oh, sorry, I messed that part up. This one, they say flying in the sky. So let's do that part. <laughs> sorry, you guys. All right, so we're gonna be flying in the sky this time. One, two, ready, go. Two little black birds flying in the sky. One named low, the other named high. Fly away low, fly away high. Come back low, come back high. So did you notice that when I was singing with the low bird, my voice was low, and when I was singing with the high bird, my, high, my voice was high? Good job. So this third verse, they're going to be sitting on a pole, so we're gonna put them on our shoulders. And so here we go. Two little black birds sitting on a pole. One named fast, the other named slow. Fly away fast, fly away slow. Come back fast, come back slow. Good job. If you did that, everybody give yourselves two thumbs up. Now, did you notice on that part, we did fast and slow, and this bird's name was slow. And this one, his name was fast. Good job, everybody. Give yourselves a pat on the back. All right. So for this next activity, this is the last activity that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be playing our shaker eggs. And so rotation teachers, now is the time to go ahead and pass out your shaker eggs. And you will just um, play the song and keep rewinding this video over and over again until every child in your class has had a turn to play the shaker egg. So <clears throat> if you are at home and you don't have a shaker egg, I am going to show you how you can make a shaker egg. And then for those of you who are watching in the classrooms, you'll know how to make it when you get home. And you can look up this video just uh, if you want 
this video to learn how to make your own shaker egg, just have your parents email me and I will email them a link to this video so you can learn how to do this at home. So I'm gonna turn my kid here. All right, so we're gonna need some rice that is not cooked, so it's still hard. We're gonna need an old Easter egg. And if you don't have an old Easter egg just laying around, you can get a cup with a plastic sandwich bag and a rubber band and some scissors. And so I am going to set this up and I'm gonna show you how to make those. All right, so if you are making a shaker egg out of an Easter egg, what you're gonna do is put rice in half of the Easter egg. You don't have to fill it all the way up. You don't have to have a whole lot, really. Um, it's better if you don't have a whole lot. So I, I only filled one half of my Easter egg up halfway. So you put the rice in there and then you put the Easter egg together. And just like that, you have a shaker egg. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the egg without an Easter egg. So we're gonna just make a shaker with a cup. So you're gonna take your cup, you're gonna put some rice in your cup and the same thing with this one, it doesn't take a lot. I'm not even gonna fill mine up halfway. There's only about that much rice in it. So, and then you're gonna take your sandwich bag and you're gonna cut the zipper part off. Now, if your mom has some that don't have zippers, that's great, use those instead. Because some sandwich bags don't come with zippers on them. We don't want a zipper. So now we just have a square piece of plastic. We're going to put it over the opening of the cup and then you're gonna need a rubber band and you'll put the rubber band around to hold that plastic in place. And now you have a shaker. And so now you can play this song together with us. And those of you that are in class, let's go ahead and let's shake those eggs. And as soon as you guys at home get your egg built, I will see you back here and let's shake our shakers together. Here we go.
right, boys and girls, um, rotation teachers, rewind that part as much as you need to until everybody in your class gets a turn. Those of you that are at home, you can rewind it as many times as you want to and just keep playing this song over and over again. All right, have a great week and I will see you guys next time. Bye.